Hey, what's up guys? My name is Christian Yeer or DPR Ian. I am a film director and an artist. I grew up my whole life uh, watching a lot of things that visually intrigued me. And by that, I mean, uh, you know, as a kid, you go watch, you know, I was fortunate enough to go to watch a lot of musicals, um, a lot of movies. And the day I started, I remember I just wanted to showcase a good dance video because I was a dancer at the time. And honestly, more, more than the dance, I was more intrigued by the idea of how to make this dance look more appealing, how to package it in a way where it will hit harder to the viewer. And more than focusing on the dance, which I think uh, I should have been, I was more focused on the angles and you know the, the placement, the musicality of how I go into those moves and the color. And sooner or later, I found myself in videography. I wanna let my girl underneath all those artificial lights. There's a lot of things that inspire me as a visual artist because number one, it's the eye. What I mean by the eye is so often we tend to uh, miss look over a lot of things in our daily lives. And that's usually due to patterns. Like if you walk down the same street every single day of the year, you're often going to tend to not really pay attention because it's kind of going to be just like a pattern and you're repeating it. And people are very, very, they get numb to repetition. And so what I like to do is uh, if you're bored of going to the same convenience store every Wednesday or every Thursday or Friday, um, try finding new routes to certain places, which is what I do. And when I do so, I like to pay attention to a lot of the things that pass me by. And I think this is very important because how often do you really pay attention or how often do you look up at the sky as you're walking? How often do you really pay attention to the color of the cars or all the type of people that are inside? And how often do you go to, to, to the extent of, let's say, maybe designing a story inside your head? And that's what I usually like to do. I like to imagine a lot of things. I just like to pay attention to the small things because later on, you don't know when or where you'll use those uh, things that you paid attention to. Now, another big thing that I really, really think is very important, um, especially as a music video director, is obviously the music. I grew up my whole life um, watching things, but when I watched things, a lot of the times it came with a certain sound or a certain song that kind of lifted it and emphasized that moment even more so. As a music video director, it's very key that you know the music. So my process is when I take to directing a certain piece for a song is obviously you listen to the song. But when I listen to the song, I like to be in certain different places depending on the mood of the song. And I like to, again, bring back to the first point I made, pay attention to what I see in front of me. Because most of the times when you listen to a song and you, a lot of, I don't know how people are, but for me personally, I like imagining a lot of things, which I think kind of builds more power into liking a song. If you if you listen to a song and there's and you don't really have context or story for it, as the artist may very well may have so, but if you don't put a certain story or a conceptual idea to it, I believe it becomes that much more less to how you perceive the song. And it could be very different, obviously. People have different tastes. But for me personally, um, as a music video director, so oftentimes you don't get to choose, well, not, I, I believe so, you don't really get to choose the songs that <laughs> you direct. Um, and I believe that's in most cases for a lot of the music video directors, especially the ones that are starting off. I do really believe it's important as someone that is going to influence people with their art to have them understand that it really does come from a certain feeling, a certain expression that you want to convey. 
And more importantly, it's about having fun. I know you hear this so often at times, but it could be very cliche. But there's a reason why everyone says that because along the way, um, a lot of the times where people run into slumps or a roadblock is usually because they end up realizing that they're not having fun with it. So usually what I do when I hit a roadblock like that, I'm sure everyone else has that kind of moment, is I just let it go. Um, I focus, I like to focus on something that's not videography or music or art, you know. I really tend to just try to live my life at that point. <laughs> These are the things that I get inspired by or how I like to do things, my process. And most importantly, um, again, I try to have fun with it. Everyone has the key to really unlock their potential when they really have fun with it. So good luck.